Hey, how's it going guys? Mr. Boss for the win here and in today's Red Dead Redemption 2 video We have some insane new details to talk about and it's sort of a continuation of a story We started discussing last week because a mystery Rockstar game title called Bonaire actually got banned in Australia now we didn't exactly know what Bonaire was related to at the time. I speculated that it was a couple of things. It was either Red Dead Redemption 2 on PC, it was a Red Dead Redemption 2 story mode update, something with Red Dead Online, or a completely new title. This is the most unlikely option, but I speculated it might be Bully 2 or GTA 6. GTA 6 a little bit less likely just because we learned that classification for new games occurs when it's weeks or months from releasing, not when it could be years away. Now the one thing that we were able to take from this Bonaire code name, which of course is not the real title name, is that Bonaire is actually an island in the Caribbean, which of course is a region that occurs in Red Dead Redemption 2. We know the entire fifth chapter of the game takes place in Guarma, and Bonaire is actually a real-life Caribbean island that would be close to where fictional Guarma would have actually been. Now, the only thing we were able to get from the listing, as you guys can see here, is that its classification is RC. And if a classification is RC, it means it was refused classification, essentially banned. It was in the category of computer games. The date of the classification was on July 19th, 2019, so a little over a month ago. Publisher Rockstar Games, production company Rockstar Games. The applicant is IARC. And the classification number is 102-341-867. Now, after this came out, there was a lot of people talking about, is this actually Rockstar Games that had one of their titles banned? Or was this a hoax? Was it a fake? Well, there's a couple of things that suggest this was actually real. Number one, this isn't something that can be done for free. It actually costs a good bit of money if you want to have a video game certified. Now, it's not like an insane amount of money, but is it an amount of money that someone would want to spend just to fake that a game is being uh, you know, published or that a game is being certified? You can see there that level one certification cost just over $1,200. Level two certification is $890. And if your game is demonstrated, it is $2,460. Now, I don't know about you guys, but I don't think I would want to spend that amount of money just to send the internet crazy over some fake. But we've seen crazier things in the past, so we can't really write all of that off. However, one of the biggest clues actually comes from insider Tez Funds 2. So he was responding to a comment on the GTA forum site. There were many people that were skeptical and someone said that I don't think Bonaire is legitimate based on the fact the real Rockstar entries in the Australian classification board are sourced from Rockstar Games. And Bonaire and lots more are sourced from the IARC, which is the source that happens when anyone registers any brand including that Call of Duty guide, supposedly by Rockstar Games. However, Insider Tez Funds 2 said, look up the Red Dead Redemption 2 companion app. It was done through IARC2, the day after Red Dead Redemption 2's release. I don't see any reason why Rockstar should use their real entries to make it look like more proof for the public that this code name for an unannounced project is legitimate. So long story short is that all the signs are pointing to this is real and that this is not a fake and that this is actually from Rockstar Games. Well, if that is the case, that brings us back to our original point. What the heck is Rockstar doing? Now, on top of all of that, another reason why I believe this is real is a week ago, you could actually search the classification database and the Bonaire codename would show up. However, now if you search the name Bonaire and the classification number we looked at earlier, it doesn't show up at all. So I guess Rockstar or Take-Two Interactive contacted them and asked them to remove it altogether 
Maybe this means the game is getting reclassified again, but to me, that's just another sign that this is legitimate and not an actual hoax. Well, we actually got some more interesting information from insider Tez Funds 2 today, who seems to have confirmed what that Bonaire classification is. So he said this earlier today on Twitter, the Rockstar mysterious title called Bonaire is the code name for RDR2 on PC. As to why it was refused, classification is unknown, but I would assume it's because of something new within the PC version, as the Australian government seems to be okay with the console version. So boom, there you have it. The code name Bonaire is Red Dead Redemption 2's PC version. And I'm personally really excited about this because I'm excited to see how beautiful Red Dead Redemption 2 will look on the PC. I'm excited for potentially the new enhancements and additions that come on the PC version. And also some of the things that we'll be able to do with mods and other fun add-ons that you just simply cannot do on the consoles. Now, if you're curious as to when Insider Tez Funds 2 believes the PC version is going to be coming out, he responded to an individual that was interested about the release date, saying it's planned for the holiday season of this year, or early 2020. Keep in mind, plans change all the time. So that means that likely the earliest we could see this game would probably be around November or December 2019. I would say October at the earliest. Or if Rockstar ended up pushing it back to 2020, we could see it in January, February, or March. Kind of like what we saw with the PC version of the game for Grand Theft Auto V also. So this is great news, but it still doesn't answer the question, what does the Australian government have against Red Dead Redemption 2 on PC? Now that we know it's the PC version, we're starting to think, what is something new that they could have added? Is it new content altogether, like missions that didn't get uh, introduced on the console version? Or is it something completely different? Well, one of the things that I thought that might be the case is the Rockstar Editor, something we see in Grand Theft Auto V on all of its current versions, but something we don't see on Red Dead Redemption 2 that might be available on PC as a selling point for the game. And interestingly enough, wouldn't you know that the Australian Classification Board also had problems with Grand Theft Auto V's Rockstar Editor back in 2015 when that game was getting released on the PC. So it wouldn't surprise me if they are having problems with the Red Dead Redemption 2 Rockstar Editor, which, according to Insider Tez Funds 2, should be coming with the PC version. Now, if you're wondering what the Australian Video Game Classification Board had to say about Grand Theft Auto V, they said this, a modified version of the previously classified game Grand Theft Auto V was also classified R18+. It is an open world action game set in the fictional US city of Los Santos. It follows three protagonists who plan and execute a number of high stake heists, as well as engage in a range of leisure activities. An earlier version of this game had been classified R18+, in parentheses, with consumer advice of high impact themes and drug use, in 2014. They're actually talking about the Xbox One and PS4 versions. In the board's opinion, the Rockstar Editor slash Director's Mode, which enables the player to create customized video footage by recording gameplay, then utilizing a variety of editing tools, extends the player's interactivity with the gaming experience, which heightens the impact of the violence depicted in the game. This can be accomplished, for example, by altering context by repetitive deceptions of violence, by employing multiple camera angles, and by zooming in on injury and blood effects. The game's consumer advice is high impact themes, drug use, violence, sex, online interactivity. So ding, 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 I think that's our answer right there. The reason that the Red Dead Redemption 2 PC version uh, didn't get approved is once again, because of the Rockstar Editor. The Australian Classification Board feels that that editing software 
allows you as the player to go too in depth and in detail with some of the gorier parts or the more R or M or adult rated parts of Red Dead Redemption 2. So how about that? Now, I don't know what impact this is going to have on Red Dead Redemption 2 on PC as far as the release date goes or cut features that might only happen in Australia. In fact, I don't even know how many of you guys are watching this video that live in Australia. But it wouldn't shock me if a couple of things had to happen. Number one, if Rockstar decided, okay, the Australian version of this game, if that's even possible, uh, is not going to have the Rockstar editor, which would be a huge bummer because I know that that's a, an amazing part of GTA 5 for content creators and just, you know, players in general to have another avenue of doing cool things with the game. Number two, it might cause a delay to the game altogether. And number three, it might only cause a delay to the Australian version of the game. Again, I'm really not sure how that's possible. Maybe it would only affect digital copies as compared to copies you might be able to get into the mail or buy in a store. I'm not sure. I don't live in Australia, so I don't know like how you would be impacted by something like this. And I'm also a bit confused as to why Rockstar seemingly didn't learn their lesson the first time with GTA 5. Maybe it's the nature of Red Dead Redemption 2, which has a lot more gore and blood than GTA 5. So maybe Rockstar thought they were in the clear, but they didn't realize that the extra amount of graphicness would cause issues with this classification. Who really knows? But that's incredibly interesting. I think this is a sort of soft confirmation that RDR2 is going to be coming to PC. It looks to be having the Rockstar editor and is probably going to be releasing sometime late 2019 or early 2020. So that's all the information that I've got for you guys in this video today. Hopefully you did enjoy. If there is any new information that comes about regarding the Bonaire situation, RDR2 on PC, I will be sure to keep you guys updated. But I'd love to hear from you guys in the comments down below. Let me know what you think about this saga and more. If you did go on to enjoy this video though, a like rating would of course be awesome. And remember to subscribe if you guys are new. If you want to stay up to date with all the latest Red Dead Redemption 2 and GTA 5 videos that I'm doing here on my channel. And be sure to ring that notification bell as well. Sometimes YouTube just doesn't work and if you ring that bell, you'll always be guaranteed to be notified when new videos arrive. But of course, as always guys, thank you all so much for watching. Take care and I'll see you guys in the next video.